Welcome, beautiful. Today we are doing something a little bit different. I got a little myrrh going there and a bay leaf. Feel free to put any worries, concerns, things that are bringing you any anxiety into that bay leaf and it's going to evaporate. Today we have the moon in Aries, which is making us feel a lot more assertive and motivated, feeling like we can actually start moving forward and getting things done. We might be feeling a little bit more empowered today after the moon moves out of Pisces, but the sun <laughs> and Chiron are going to be speaking in a conversation that's a bit challenging, especially to our self-worth. So we might be feeling indecisive in the later half of the day, perhaps vulnerable, and um, just doubting our abilities to be able to conquer and do the things that we want to do. But this is fleeting, so no worries. <laughs> For today's reading, I find this really interesting. I decided to use a different deck than I normally do here. And what you see here is two cards that are the same cards that came out in yesterday's reading. So while I was going to do this kind of money, work, relationships, guidance thing that I was doing yesterday, you guys know I love to mix it up. But today, this card came out the same. This was the card for money and work yesterday, the world. So some of y'all didn't listen to the messages yesterday. You might want to go back and check those messages out. But the world reversed is talking about, you know, that things are being slowed down because you are not doing things the way that you want. Um, or, you know, things are being slowed down because you're not doing things the way that you're being called to do them, I should say. Because we have the world card and the hangman coming up reverse, two major arcana coming up reverse. This is telling me that some of you guys out there are overly preoccupied with the material world and your spiritual aspects and sides of self are being stunted because of that. There could be stubbornness and a feeling like you don't want to compromise, you don't want to let go. There's a refusal here also to see the long term and to really sacrifice especially our priorities. Some of us out there are, and I said this yesterday as well, are wanting to get something done in a certain way, but we're not realizing that A plus B isn't going to equal C in that equation. Like those actions will not equate to that end product, but we're trying it anyway. And the thing is that those actions, I think for most of us out there that are resonating with this energy would actually align, but they're just out of sequence. So they need to be reprioritized. Some of us are trying to do step B before we do step A and things like that. So keep that in mind. So this is the general energy. And this was just kind of like a reminder, <laughs> you know, uh, Hey, I don't know who didn't listen yesterday, but this is that and it needs to happen. So the advice here moving forward, this is the six of butterflies or the six of wands in this particular deck. And this is talking about needing to move into balance of mind, balance of spirit, right? And balance of body and bring these into harmony between the mind and the body and the different aspects of mind. Because I think we often think of our brain as one organism, but it's really two. Anyway, um, so the six of wands in this card is not only talking about balance and harmony, but it's saying that your persistent efforts will absolutely lead to success and constantly moving towards those efforts will also improve your life and your confidence. So it's really important here that you guys remain persistent. This is that card. If you guys are having a hard time for those of you guys who are new to Tarot or something, this is that card in the Rider Waite where he's like up on the horse and everyone is acknowledging all of his fame and fortunes. So this is saying that you will not only present something that will be satisfying to you, but you will present something that will be satisfying to other people as well and will be able to be seen as valuable by others. Up here we have the theme and the energy. What's underlying this energy is the two of crystals up there. And you can see I put crystals all over this reading. All the crystals and wands that I use in these videos are available. Um, feel free to message me about them if you want them. But these are all crystals here that help with bringing calm and balance. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute with you guys. But this card up here, this is the two of earth, the two of crystals, the two of pentacles. And so this is talking about juggling, balancing, again, bringing things into harmony and into balance because there's something here that's being ignored. There's someone here resisting a change, refusing to move forward, refusing to try things new. There's a fear held on from the past that's clinging and keeping a new cycle from emerging. There's a new beginning or a new cycle wanting to initiate, but one isn't wanting to do the sacrifice in the inner work. One is overly focused on the outside realms and unable to look. So here we see that 
persistence is going to lead to your success and even successes that you'll be able to be will be able to be noticed and recognized by other people and up here it's really important that we juggle and balance and learn how to maintain a positive out outlook this is a card that came up in yesterday's reading too the two of pentacles so if you want more deep messages about it you can go back to yesterday's reading and check that out but we have here the forest card this is the breath card I absolutely love this card in this deck and that's why i chose to pick the crystals that i chose was because of this particular card and you know the thing is with the forest that I love is that when you start to get into the forest, there becomes areas that become so thick, your breathing changes, the air is different, there's a shift, right? The, the paradigm is not the same. And it's like you just find yourself naturally taking deeper breaths because the oxygen is so rich. And this is really... This is really talking about an exchange, a balance between the inner realms and the outer realms, again, against, uh, with that body and mind, right? And this is saying that what we take in, we also release. There's a breath of gratitude, of exchange, of co-creation, of cooperation between us and all of the forces that we imbibe inside of ourselves and instill into the world around us. So this is really important. It's also, of course, a call and a reminder to take more deep breaths. And I think the most traditional, I love to do alternated nostril breathing. You can look up YouTube videos all about different breaths. But, you know, I think the most common breath that we all know about is the four, seven, eight breathing, right? So breathing in through the nose for four seconds, holding it for seven seconds and breathing out loudly with a whooshing sound through the mouth for eight seconds and repeating that for four to six times, right? Or more if you want to get into some alternated states of breathing, which I love to use the Wim Hof method for. But all right, guys, this is a reminder to breathe, to be calm, to be relaxed, to be peaceful. And down here, I've got a cabin site, blue lace agate up here. There is a calcite, the blue oregonite, blue apatite, dioptase and shatakite with a little bit of quartz some really beautiful different crystals that would be great so just invite their energies in for you for today and i hope you guys enjoy these videos if you do feel free to like share subscribe comment down below let me know how this landed for you or how your day is going and i will speak with you guys tomorrow bye, -bye. until next time i'm sending so much bliss in your direction